hello hello welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog if you're new to the channel i'm steve chapman of fish and florida radio and today is day one of the Bassmaster elite series on st john's <music> the year off right yeah caught a nine five on my second uh the, the second buy of the day nine pound five ounce huge bass that's a game changer weighed in 19 pounds so you know, didn't get any other giants to go with it just some solid chunks uh, hopefully tomorrow we can go back out there and, and catch a couple big ones okay how way too many changes during the sauce season but everybody gets paid this year yeah do, does that at all go through your head that you know I'm gonna make money at every event? Does that help? Well, yeah. Does it help your confidence or does it make you? I know you're competitive. Yeah. Because the first thing you said to me is I can dunk over you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting. Not, not anymore. I couldn't call. <laughs> now, now I'm just now I'm too old. But, does it? Uh, do you? Does it help your confidence? What does it do for well, you? Well, I mean, I, I think it just you know from just a financial standpoint, I mean it's it's less of a gamble now to fish on the elite series you know when you're guaranteed a twenty five hundred dollar check even if you catch zero so yeah. i mean it just it probably makes you you know fish a little bit more calm and and you know not not have to worry about and that helps so much. that helps a lot yeah. calming down yeah you know there's been a lot of people that left there's been a new influx of anglers anglers that come in but you've been on this on here for what five this six is my years eighth year. is it really <laughs> we've known each other for eight years it's my eighth eight, year so <laughs> after i asked that one question uh so knowing all the stress that comes with the media all the excitement that all this stuff don't you feel like you have a really amazing opportunity to to come out here and do oh, well this yeah. year yeah i mean i mean everybody on on tour does i mean with 75 anglers actually i think there's 74 i mean it's just a lower field uh this is a great opportunity this year to to get a lot more exposure to do yes. to hopefully you know win tournaments and qualify for the classic so I think what's more important qualifying year. for the classic or let's just be honest it's angler of the year isn't it well yeah i mean angler of the year is the number who cares one. about the classic <laughs> but i mean i would say number two would probably be winning winning an elite event chris zaldane bassmaster elite how was your day today first Man, and foremost it started off uh it was a lot of highs and lows today first boat uh taken off i was the first one on the dock it's been a whole long off season ups and downs all season long i'm running down the river the skeeter yamaha wide open right it's cr it's clear clean and just beautiful glass out there. But at 72 miles an hour, I T-boned in a submerged log. It was floating just under the surface. I hit the log, probably broke the log in two. I, I, I annihilated my lower unit. I was dead in the water at that point. So uh, we blasted off at 7.30. It was not until 11 o'clock. My wife brought her brand new Skeeter down. She fishes the opens. I cleared it with the tournament director and, and she dropped the boat off to me. 11 o'clock from 11 to 2 uh, which is you know I'm sorry 11 to 1 I had two hours in my main area and I caught 17 8 I had a 5 and a 6 limit to go with it and I was like man I got lucky today man That's I shouldn't awesome. even be fishing so um, so I kind of got lucky 17 8 I knew I knew the big fish were in there so it's gonna be a little dangerous tomorrow I think uh, well first of all I'm gonna slow down going to my to my area and once I get there I'll have a full seven hour day so yeah. Um, really anxious, really looking forward to seeing what, what else lives in that area. With all the changes this year, does it put any less stress on you knowing that you cash at every event? Uh, there's definitely less stress uh, without a doubt. Uh, one, you know, every one of these guys gets paid here. Yeah. Uh, and two, uh, you know, the big name guys that still make me nervous to this, this day have moved on. So I almost feel like I'm filling those shoes. I mean, I've been around for eight years now and uh and you know it just it, uh, the confidence level is super high you know don't have to worry about money all that stuff everyone gets paid 
uh, just an awesome, uh, awesome year, 2019 for the Bassmaster Elite Series. It's a, it's a reborn year, rebirth year, and, and oh, all, I think all you're the gonna kids do really here, good. Yeah, all the kids here are excited to be. I call them kids. Yeah, uh, they're all excited <laughs> to be here. They're, they're fired up, and it's gonna be a, a grueling season. And when I say that, I mean these kids are hungry, and I can't sit back. I mean, at all. I can't, I can't get com complacent. These kids are hungry, and they're, and they're hot on our tails. So. Do you think the guys that are new, even though they're hungry? You kind of have an edge because you know the grind. Yeah. You know how this whole thing works. Absolutely. You know how the media bothers you when you start doing real well. Yeah, absolutely. like me. <laughs> absolutely. The the you know, I, I mean this lake for example, this river for example. I've been here several times before, and, and just knowing where they spawn, how they set up, and this and that. But yeah, having that experience, eight years of experience on the tour, I know what to expect, when to expect it. And, uh, and, and I kind of know, I've been close to AOI in the, in the past. I've had a sixth, seventh, and eighth. And this year is gonna be my year to make a run in AOI. But they're not gonna give it to me by any means. I, no. gotta, I, gotta, I gotta work hard and, and earn it. Hunter, hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Good way to start off the year. You had 17 what? 17, eight, I believe. Uh, yeah, St. John's River, Placa, Florida. Um, it's warm weather. We had a major cold front come through last week. Um, everything that I could dream about has happened, but the practice was horrible. But I knew that that time, you know, there was a lot of moving parts. Um, I'm, you know, very hopeful of what I've seen today and just trying to expand on my areas. I, I only have a couple locations um, bouncing around and, you know, you can collide with a big one here in a hurry and it doesn't take long you know to catch up when you got 11 12 13 pounders swimming around here legitimately that get caught all the time so yeah. it's uh it's exciting i'm looking forward to tomorrow is there less stress on you knowing that you don't ha that you're gonna make a check at every event this year honestly i didn't even think about that you I, haven't? I haven't thought about that too. I mean, today. You've thought about it later. Today, yeah. Like, I didn't think about it today, like, oh, I'm still getting a check. You know, because there were some times without bites that yes. I've gone a while. I never thought. I mean, it is good, but I think the points and everything else. Yeah, uh, you want to get off win, to a good start. Yeah, that's, that's more important than you, uh, the paycheck. <laughs> you and I have talked about this privately. Yep. But you have a really good opportunity this year with all the new guys. I'm not saying anything about the new guys, yeah. but with people leaving and new people coming in, you know the stresses and the media stuff that we de right. you have to deal with. Right. Does it help you or do you, do you, like this is, do you feel like this could be your year? Um, I mean, you know, obviously everybody knows what had happened and you know, you know, a lot of guys left, but there's so much talent in this field that, that is here now. And, and the other thing is, is there's less guys. So I think there's 75, 74 anglers. Um, and that helps in, a, in tournament fishing in general, just the, the body of water that you're fishing to not have as much pressure. Yeah. Um, so those, you know, those things combined, I mean, it's still, you got to do your job. It's not going to be easy. These guys are going to catch them. I, I'm listening to the weights right now and they're still bringing them in. Um, but to, to say that this is going to be my year, last year wasn't, uh, obviously, you know, I want to make this my yeah. year for sure. With or without anyone, I don't care. I want to go catch some bass. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you've done, I've seen some videos of that you've done here that you've done pretty darn well around here. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, the, the cool thing about the videos is that's, you know, the timing was right. And, you know, everything was good where in a tournament, we got a date. Yeah. You start and finish on those dates, and uh, sometimes, you know, in Florida, you're hit with a cold front, and it can be miserable. Other times, you know, the sun pops out, and, you know, it just goes crazy. So I think that's what we're going to have right now. Like, this week, it's going to be the weights are going to get better and better as yeah. the tournament goes on. Is there one place you're, that you like more than than any other place? Is this it, or where, where are you really looking forward to going this year? Um, this was definitely number one on the schedule. I knew it was earlier in the year, and there's always a chance it was going to be cold in February. Yeah. March is a lot more stable uh, down here, and pretty much everybody knows the drill, but uh, I'm just glad that it turned out this way. Um, but there's, you know, Gunnersville, Lake Fork, uh, St. Lawrence River. I mean, our schedule this year is, is stacked. Yeah. And I... I'm excited about most of them pretty yeah. much, so it's, uh, it's going to be good. Bernie Schultz, good friend, awesome. How was it today out there? Good and easy. 
but uh, we prevailed. The fish kind of came our way. I got a real big one at the end of the day. Um, started out pretty quick. I, I caught a four pounder pretty quick and, and some other smaller fish got a limit, I guess by 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And that was good for, based on my practice. I did not have a good practice. And uh, then this afternoon, some of the fish started coming shallow, the bigger fish. Yeah. And I foul hooked a big one that really hurt. And I had to release it. But right after that, my next cast, I caught another one the same size. So I released a seven that was foul hooked. We can't, if we foul hook a fish yeah. that, while sight fishing, we're not allowed to keep the fish. So it's all on camera. Uh, maybe some of your re, uh, listeners. Yeah, might have uh, saw it. Yeah, they might have. You had the camera on the boat the whole day. Yes, I did. And then uh, I wanted to break stuff, man. I was so upset. But it, anyway, I gathered myself, re-rigged, next cast, caught another one that was 615. So it worked out. There's been a lot of changes this year. There has. Uh, in terms of less stress on you, now that you know you get a check at every at every event, does that, I know you're very, you know, you're competitive, but does it make it less stressful for you? It, it does. I mean, you're going to get some of your money back. And, and uh, for young guys, especially that don't have the sponsorship yet, and they're trying to get established, that's a, that's a huge thing. Yeah. You know, they can, they're going to get at least half their money back if they just hang in there the whole season. And if anything good happens, they're going to be in the black. Um, for an old guy like me, I mean, I, I'm ready to win. I'm tired of just making checks or, or falling out of the money or whatever you know it's just it, I, I want i want something really big to happen well with with a, a lot of new guys in this thing this year the the veterans like you you have to even have a little bit more confidence no offense to anybody because they're good fishermen but do you, does that give you more confidence that you think you can place higher and, and no, have that chance man. to win these, more these kids are they're gunslingers they're, they're out here to prove themselves and and you know make a name for themselves and, and uh, they're all talented some of them will need a little bit more experience traveling and getting used to the road and, and, and new bodies of water, but they got the skill set, all of them do, and, and they, each one has their own strengths. But, it, I mean, I, I, it, I don't think it's going to be a cakewalk, I promise you. There's a lot of talent out here, and I yeah. think it's going to show itself. Good. Great day, great way to start off the Elite Series. Yeah. You, super, how did it go? Super happy with it. I had a great day. You know, I, I wasn't really expecting great things today, but it just, it, it was a lot better than I anticipated. So I'm thankful for that and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, with uh, everyone getting a check this year, yep. does it uh, put less stress on you for Definitely. Yeah, this whole for thing? Sure. Yeah, no, no doubt. Kind of kind of takes a little bit of your, your motivation away, but uh, but it's nice, you know, knowing you at least get home, you know, you got some, some gas money to get home and stuff. Yeah. So. Well, you've been, how long have you been on the series? It's been a few this years. It's been my fifth year. So now that we don't have, and with all the changes that have happened this, this crazy yeah. off season, you got to have a little bit more confidence and a little more pep in your step that, you know, there's a lot of new guys that haven't faced the stresses and everything that comes yeah. with being out here. Do you feel like this is going to shape up to be just a great year for you? I hope so. I mean, you, you just never know. You got to catch fish and that that's not always easy to do, but but I mean, I have no reason not to be confident, you know, and, um, you know, I've, I qualified for the classic two years in a row now, and I had a good day to start the season off. So I'm, I'm happy and I'm, uh, everything's good as far as I, I'm concerned right now. So, uh, I'm happy to be at Bass. I'm, yeah. I'm glad that, uh, you know, I, I wasn't invited to MLF, but I'm, I'm, I wouldn't have went. I could say that confidently. This is just, this is more, it suits the way I fish and, yeah. and my personality, and uh, you know, I'm I'm in a good place here. I'm I'm thankful to be here. That that's the most yeah. important thing. Hey guys, welcome back. I have to admit, uh, day one here on the St. John's in Palatka for the Bassmaster Elite has been a huge success. They had a crowd today. That this is a Thursday. I was. I was impressed by how many people were there. Uh, they brought it in. The anglers brought in some stud fish. 11 pounds from cruise was just amazing. The new guys that are on the tour seem to be hungry. And the, the other guys who've been on the tour for some time just are fishing as hard as possible. Um, it's good to have this competition, but it really shouldn't be a competition. But I have to, I have to say, I really had a good day here on the leaks and they're 
they're really putting it to another level. So congratulations to Bass and to all the groups. They had a, a humongous amount of people here and the media, the people for the media were great. The media tent was awesome and I had a good time. So um, we'll probably do another video soon here, but you need to go to our website or go to really go to our Facebook page or go to or email us at info at fishinfloridaradio.com and subscribe, like, and comment, and also send us an email because if you send us an email, we're gonna send you some free prize packs. So do that. Watch Bassmaster Live this weekend. The the guys are still the you know the guys that are here are still unbelievable, and uh, it was a really good time. It really was a good time. So, can't say anything more. So, until we see you again, get your fish on. I'm Johnny on the spot. We can send it. <laughs> Fletcher Shry Rock. Thank you, first off. Fletcher? Uh, what? Hunter. No, keep that. Keep that no, in there. No, I'm not keeping that. Edit that out. Edit. Keep that one in there.